everybody, it's Peggy Dean of The Pigeon Letters, and I just want to show you quickly how you can create um, horizontal videos with a blurred background that take up the space that vertical videos would otherwise leave just as black, and it would be less than appealing to watch. And so we are going to go through a very quick way to do that. Um, now, I don't know if you guys are used to dragging and dropping. <laughs> That's what I do. That's not going to help you. Um, I mean, I guess you could change the sequence settings later, but let's just make this easy. You can go to uh, File, New, New Sequence. And from there, that's where you set your settings correctly by going to Settings, and then make sure that you are at frame size horizontal is the wider, vertical is the shorter. So 1920 by 1080, okay. I've got this standard size now. Now I can take my video and drag it in. And you will see that it's going to say um, the clip doesn't match the sequence settings. It gives me the option to change it to that. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to say keep existing settings. And then I'm going to right click here. And I'm going to say set to frame size. And that's going to make it so it's small and it has everything in the frame. Um, this is Amanda. She's a sweetheart. <laughs> so from here, what I want to do is I'm going to disconnect the audio from the video. So I'm just going to right click and say, um, where is it? Right click and say unlink. So that unlinks it. So now I, anything that I grab, it will move independently. So basically what that, the reason why I did that was because I want to just make a copy of the video itself. So I can say copy and then I can say paste. Um, I'm actually just going to press option and pull it up. That's a, trick to duplicate it. So if I press option on my keyboard, click and drag, then it duplicates it. Um, the reason why I did that, just FYI, if you press copy and then let's say you press paste, it's going to paste wherever your, your timer, your count was, which is really frustrating. Um, there might be a way around that. I don't know what it is. So I'm just for now going to do this. Um, otherwise I'd have to like paste it at the very end and then drag it back. But anyway, from here, I'm going to have the um, video file that's the top one. I'm going to keep that the way that it is and then I'm going to select the one underneath that and I'm going to change the scale. So when you double click on your preview here it will allow you to um, drag but you can also do that just over here where it says scale and you'll see there's these arrows. You don't have to change the numbers you can just click and drag. Whoops. Click and drag to the right, and it's not letting me do it. There we go. Click and drag to the right. So I'm going to do that until it fills completely. Okay. So now this is a little whoops. This is a little weird because you can see everything like this. So we want to make it a beautiful soft blur. So to do that, I am going to go over to my um, effects. So I'm going to select this flyout menu, go to effects, and then I'm just going to um, type in Gaussian blur. And then I see it right here under blur and I'm going to click it, drag it over to that file that I enlarged or scaled and drop it on there. Now over in this section, you're going to see, whoops, I did not mean to do that. Normal. Um, you're going to see a Gaussian blur that has been added. Blurriness, that is what you're going to increase. So see how I can just drag that up and increase it as much as I want to. Um, I can keep it you know, a little sharper so I can see what's going on. But this is just perfect because it complements the color. I'm not distracted by what's going on in the background. And it just helps me kind of pay more attention to what is going on in the video. So um, from there, you just export as usual and you're good to go. So I can show you a couple little areas throughout here. And if that were to play, that's what it looks like. So I hope that's helpful. Um, be sure to subscribe all the things that YouTubers say. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a Gen X. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys next time.